Hey, this is Brooke Drum with PrinterBot.com and we've been building smalls all day and doing little tweaks and stuff to the parts. And so this happens to be the one with the eight inch wide, six inch deep upgrade. And people were asking, well, how does it print? So let me see if I can give you a, a view of how well it prints. Now again, when you're building this, you gotta take great care and know how to tension belts and stuff, some basic things, um, to make sure that you're gonna come up with a good build in the end. But um, the one thing that we did do was we put acceleration on it at about, I think it was 40. And so uh, normally we print at about 50, 60, but uh, you know, with more rigid printers. Um, so we we're just kind of slowing this down to uh, see if we can get some good prints. So there's that one. Whoa. There we go. So that's what it looks like with the, with the handles there. So there you go on that one. And then there's one over here. So I do see a couple of, couple of artifacts on the front of that. Uh, but it looks really good. Otherwise, so that's the base model. I might need to see if I can uh, identify. Actually, we did see a couple of things in the design that we've already changed. So instead of tear these machines apart, um, we're just printing with them right now. So this is probably the best example of what it's going to look like if you print the case. So. I told myself I'd never make a printer again without a power switch. So there's a power switch. It doesn't have the sheathing on the cables yet, but it's got the perfect length of wires. So it's kind of sexy with the swoops there. But that turned out nice. You can tell they're pretty quiet. So how's this one printing? Gosh, I hate the focus on this. Come on. There. So that looks pretty good. I can see. Yeah, that looks nice. There we go. So that was the third one. I think we had a fourth one over here too. Yeah. It's funny how the lighting gets better in different parts of the shop. <laughs> Anyway, so this was, and so these were built by four different guys, and it's their first time to build. So, here's the handle. I do like the handle. So you get four different guys, four different approaches, and you find out people made assumptions, and it really helps us to see what's going to be the experience when people... So that one looks nice, too. It's hard to see, but that surface looks really nice. So... Uh, do they print? Do this? How do the smalls print? They print like that, and the parts are getting even better. We're really verifying everything and making sure the process. Uh, I love it with the case. We're actually still missing a panel that's going to go there, so it's not completely done yet. Um, but that's printing right now. So they do print. I can't wait to put a bunch of these on a bot farm to show you know how small a bot farm could be. You could pack these pretty densely. So anyway, again, uh, Brook Drum, printerbot.com. Showing off the printer bot smalls and just our progress on a Friday.